This is ZNN with Jamie Cooper. Actually, I'm kidding, y'all. Y'all can talk all you want. I'm getting ready to play egg roulette in just a moment. Win or lose, somebody's going to get messed up, I can tell you that. Anyway, good Tuesday morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is a live edition of ZNN, the first portion of this program. As always, brought to you by the Athens News Courier. Hey, there's good news on the headlines this morning. Industry to bring 30 jobs to Limestone County. Here's what's shaking in the Courier. 30 area workers will find new jobs making uh, acoustical insulation and air conditioning ventilation systems over the next three years. That, according to Limestone County Economic Development Association President Tom Hill. Here's a picture of them in the paper this morning on the front page. That's good news, getting 30 new jobs here in Athens and Limestone County. This out of Saturday's paper, Sheriff Mike Blakely, surrounded by eight pounds of pot, weapons and cash at the Limestone County Sheriff's Department Friday morning. I think they did this about, uh, it was the rest of uh, two major marijuana brokers. We were out at Clements, didn't have time to get back for the press conference. A month of surveillance has led to the arrest of two major pot brokers Thursday night in Limestone County. According to Sheriff Blakely, it's not the largest arrest ever made, but this is a major trafficker. I hope to see a lot of good come from this arrest. They were moving quite a bit of dope in our beloved county of Limestone County. Once again, Sheriff Blakely and the deputies did a super job. More than 4,200 voters in Limestone County have not updated voter records and are listed as inactive. This uh, probate judge Mike Davis are urging residents to update their information before the primary elections in June. When inactive voters go to the polls, they will find their names on the inactive list and must stop and fill out an update form before they can vote. Another problem with having such a long inactive list is that these voters may go to the incorrect polling places because they will be unaware of changes. Also in the news courier this morning, reporting something over at UNA, the University of North Alabama is among a small but growing number of colleges that contact parents if their children get nabbed for underage drinking. No. Says here, the director of affairs and student affairs UNA says underage drinking is among the most frequent violations in North Alabama. Most parents are thankful and want to know details once they are notified by the school. Some students tend to react differently, though, and some, they quote, just cry. I wonder how many kids would get arrested down at Panama City and Gulf Shores this weekend for underage drinking. A ton. I didn't get a chance to go to the Poke Salad Follies Festival this weekend, but a lot of folks did said they had three consecutive nights of packed houses this this morning. Here's a picture of Cher. Actually, that's good-looking Ronnie Marks. There he is. And there's Jackie Greenhall, two of my favorite folks, dressed up and ready to go. They put on quite a performance, as did Commissioner David Seibert. Now, there are other pictures in the News Courier this morning. If you go get one, you can see all about them. And Sheriff Blakely, I think he was uh, Kenny Rogers or somebody. I saw he had a beard on uh, in uh, the performance this weekend. But said they raised quite a bit of money, according to Emily Haney, the director down at the Senior Center. A former Athens High School graduate was among the five members of the University of Alabama at Birmingham Ethics Bowl team that recently won the national championship. Rachel Rossell's 19 was one of the five team members who complete, competed against 31 colleges and universities, so good for them. Hey, Gloria had some special guests up here last week. That's talking about the annual gala from the Athens Limestone Hospital. That's coming up April 17th. It's going to be down at the Weston Hotel at the Bridge Street in Huntsville. Tickets are $150 per person for that, so they still got tickets available. Now, it's worth the money because once you go out there, you have a good time and Spend the night if you want. You don't have to worry about driving back home to Athens. But you can still get tickets to that. So they'll be you have a silent auction and everything that goes on at the annual gala. Athens State Golf Classic registration deadline set. Athens State University Alumni Golf Classic will be held Thursday, May 13th at Cambridge. Lunch will be served at noon, followed by a shotgun start at 1 p.m. Registration for the four-man scramble is $100 for individual, $400 for teams of four. Sure, my buddy Ray Neese, who I saw at Jiffy yesterday morning, and Don Carter, too. That's the place to go. If you want to meet and talk, get gas next door and say hello to my buddy Tony, the new owner over there. Athens High School girls go one for three in day one down at Gulf Shores. Now, Gloria and I were there a couple years ago, and it was so dang windy down there. You could hardly shoot anything. But Lady Eagles defeat Benjamin Russell 9-4 in nightcap of Gulf Coast Classic at Orange Beach Sportsplex. We just talked about the Clements girls and tell you about that special we're going to be doing coming up next week. Well, here's the... the Clements Malone is named Player of the Year. Marks is named Coach of the Year by the Athens News Courier. We'll be talking all about that, too, in just a little bit. 
Uh, this was all in all the, I'm assuming all the area papers or state papers over the weekend, down at Blunt County. You know, Blunt County is, is famous for its covered bridges. They got four or five down that way. And I've done several country over stories on them, and I've got them that you see here on Mondays on ZTV. But the covered bridges now, the two or three that are remaining, have been closed to traffic. The Swan Creek Bridge and the Horton Bridge have been closed to traffic down in Blunt County near Aniana due to the stability and not being able to carry a huge load across. But they are certainly worth going down and photographing, especially with spring soon to be here. How's that biscuit, Frank, from McKinney's? Pretty good. We're getting to eat up here every day now. We're going to be fattening up. All right, also look for our ad in this morning's paper. Tells you what all we've got coming on this week, Country Over Classics. Voted Athens number one by an independent survey that I took personally in the studio. Cooper & Company has been voted the number one morning program, not to mention the longest-running morning show in Huntsville Television so far. And I don't think anybody can come close to doing that. Also, you can see the replays now at noon and 9 p.m. Don't forget, tell your folks that live other places, no, we ain't on direct, but we are live streaming, and it's as good as gold, thanks to some good buddies of mine who worked on that. All right, that's it for the News Courier on this Tuesday morning.